now we are going to learn what is the meaning of hole current and electron current in the case of semiconductors you may have learnt about the formation of holes and formation of uh, free electrons in the case of semiconductors holes are the majority charge carrier in the case of p type semiconductors and electrons are the majority charge carrier in the case of n type semiconductor so after doping you will get uh, both holes as well as electrons now we are going to see how the hole moves how the electron moves within the extrinsic semiconductors we have to assume that the red color one that should be assumed as a hole how holes are created holes are nothing but they are all created due to the vacancy of electrons if electrons are present that uh, position to be taken as negative charge and electrons are not there if the vacancy is there due to the absence of electron that position must be taken as that void that vacuum that vacancy must be considered as positive region positive charge okay so holes are positive charge carriers but it is a vacancy but electrons they possess negative charge in the case of semiconductors the electrons since they possess negative charge always the electrons will have the affinity to move towards the hole are you clear so here hole is there i have drawn one reference point this is the initial position of the hole now this electron since it is having negative charge this one will have the affinity towards the hole now i am going to move the electron towards which one towards the hole so the electron it occupies the place of the hole look at here now it comes here are you clear now the hole is here are you clear now this electron will have the affinity towards the hole are you clear now the electron comes and occupy the place of the hole look at the movement of the hole previously the hole was here now the hole is here the electron previously it was here now it is shifted here it is moving in this direction so the electron movement that takes place in this direction hole it moves in this direction it shows that this is the direction of hole current this is the direction of electron current so both are taking place in the opposite direction now we'll move the uh, hole and electron further look at here this electron will have the affinity towards this hole and hole will be automatically shifted here are you clear if the electron comes out and if it occupies the place of the hole the hole will be created here next this electron will come and occupy the place of the hole and hole will be created here this electron will come and occupy the place of the hole and that vacancy is created hole will be created here electron comes and occupy the place of the hole finally the hole is created here look at here previously the hole was here now the hole it is here it shows that the hole is shifted so this is a direction of the movement of the hole that is called hole current are you clear and electron moves in the opposite direction of hole current so this is a direction of electron current this is a direction of hole current okay both are taking place in the opposite direction actually electron moves that is a real particle vacancy is the vacancy which is created by the absence of electron is called hole which one is really moving electron is really moving are you clear so this hole it appears to be moving from one end to another end okay so there are two type of currents are there in the case of semiconductors one is called hole current and another one is called electron current okay